Good evening, Destiny. Let's open our Bibles this time. Sa Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Then Jesus told His disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time, he refused. But finally, he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she, ki she gets justice so that gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. This is NIV. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night? Will He keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly because, or however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? So he ended it with a question. How many of you know that prayer is a function of faith? Kung may pagtuo ka mga muyo kagid, ang mga tao nga kulang o wala nagapangamuyo, wala na sila pagtuo o kung nagaduda sila pirmi sa Diyos. So tonight, let me talk to you about uh, a continuation of our weeping habit. This time the topic is to always pray. This is a teaching of Jesus to always pray. Amen. Let's pray. We are aware, Lord, that you are here. Ari ka sa amon tunga, kag gusto gini ka mamati sa amon, Lord. Gusto ni mo, Lord, nga buligan kami, pero gusto mo nga makonek kami sa imo pirmi. Gani karon nga gabi Lord I pray your spirit helping us your spirit helping our weakness nga maka-connect kami sa imo Lord kag makapangamuyo kami buligi nga ang bilog nga mga tumulo diri sa Destiny City Church mangin mga katawhan nga mapinangamuyoon that we will be a prayerful community Lord that we know how to pray we know how to weep we know how to cry out we know how to persist. Hallelujah. Buligang tagsatag sa karun nga gabi, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Many times, ang aton Lord would teach very important subject through stories or what we call parable. So, ginagamit niya ang mga parable. Ang uh, paggamit sa palanggiran o kon parable, gindesign ni sang Lord not to hide the truth, but to reveal truth. However, ma-reveal lang ini sa mga tao nga may ears to hear. If you have ears to hear, parable is good. You can receive the secrets of the kingdom of God. But if you have no ears to hear, it, it will just be a story. Pag pauli mo, ang madumduman mo lang mga storya. Pero kung may ears to hear ka, you will receive an understanding of the truth that Jesus is revealing pagi sa parable. So, kabay pa ang may ears to hear ka mo. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, also, luya ko man ihambal sa inyo, that ang pagsugid sa kamaturan pagi sa parable or story is not to hide the truth, but to reveal the truth. Amo nang iya nga tuyo, hindi kay taguon sa ato ng kamaturan. And it was not designed, the parable and story, wala na gin designed to weaken the truth, but to strengthen the truth. Uh, kinanglan i-strengthen gin in yung ginatawag nga to pray always, to always pray. Amen. So, let's start. Let's start. Here's the question. Suno sa gin basa naton, Gintudlo, gintudlo ni Jesus 
nga tanan kita magapangamuyo pirme. Gitud lo bala na ni Jesus. Did he did he teach that we should always pray? Yes or no? Yes. Is it needed? Yes or no? Is it important? Yes. Do we do this? Kaya ang question na ito na mo niyo, I don't blame you kung wala ka mga nagsabat na yun. Kaya pag siling gani nga, we should always pray, ang, ang gasulod sa mind mo, what? Paano na lang kami magtulog? Paano kami magtrabaho? Paano na lang kami magkaon? Labi lagi kung birthday mo. Ano na lang? Baka mo yun na lang ubraho naman? Always pa ang hambaldra? Should always pray? There must be some craziness in this. Hindi ni siguro sakto ang akon nga nabatian. Siling diri, he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Now by the way, wala diri si Jesus katudlo nga magpray. Katudlo siya diri kung paano magpray. He already expects us to to desire to pray. Hallelujah. You know what happens kung uh, uh, ma-disconnect ka sa Lord kaya hindi ka makapamuyo? Ano matabo kon ining ining mga suga ni ma-disconnect sa kapil ko? Ah, this room will be dark. Ang microphone hindi mag-function. Ang aircon hindi na maglagan. Right? What happens when you are disconnected with God? Because praying is to connect with the source of all your need. To connect with God. What happens when you are disconnected with God? You will be a blackout. Your mind will black out. Your future is blacked out. There's nothing that you can derive from it. Matthew 18, I believe, uh, one, among the many teachings of Jesus, I believe has become the foundation of the practice and teachings of the New Testament church. Tungod sa pagtudlo ni Jesus that men ought always to pray, ang mga disciples started to practice it and not only practice it, but started to teach Christians that they should always pray. Let me show you some of the verses na sunod sa mga apostoles. Romans 12, verse 12, for example, Paul said, siling niya, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Foundation sa teaching sa mga, mga apostles, sa mga disciples, be faithful in prayer. Arepagid, Ephesians 6:18 and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying did you notice that for all the lord's people keep on praying keep on praying keep on praying so this is not just one time story of jesus this has been embedded sa mga practice sa mga Christians, they always pray. Amen. Another one, Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Here's another one, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Very short verse. Pray without ceasing. Or NIV would say, pray continually. Pray non-stop. Pray continually. Pray without ceasing. Why is this important? Important in it, kay our lifeline is, is always there when we are connected with God, when we are in prayer mood. To always pray. Are yung mga lessons na from this parable. I have four, four lessons that I, I have uh, learned from this parable. Let me share them uh, to you. Number one, how to pray without ceasing and to always pray. Um, ang una kong lesson, ano ni, to be prayer aware. In other words, you are aware that prayer is needed at all times. Mark that word always. Ang tudlo ni Jesus sa sining parable, nga agod niya ma, mabalad sa mga disciples that they should always pray. 
So, ang, ang unang lesson para sa akin is to become prayer aware. I am aware that I need to pray at all times. Hallelujah. Amen. How often should you feel the need to pray? Always. Uh, before ako na born again, isang gagbay pa kami, isang gagbay kami, intudloan kami mag uh, pangamuyo. Kung mag-agi sa patyo, mga muyo. Magpangilat, mga muyo. Alright? Tanan nga danger, mga muyo. And then, uh, labi nagi kon ma- manami ka na mag-rosaryo bala. Manami ka na mag-rosaryo. Shall you pray the rosary? The five mystery, sorrowful mystery, the glorious mystery. Gina-memorize po gina, kay tungod niya gusto mag-pray. Sino sa inyo ka dumdum kay Pacquiao sang wala pa siya maborn again? Remember Bani Pacquiao when he, before he was born again? So, schedule lang fight. He got up to the ring. Anong una ginahimo ni Manny Pacquiao? He would go to his corner. Red corner man o blue corner. Kato siya dito. And maluhod siya. He was not supposed to be disturbed. He, knelt da- he kneels down, makes signs of the cross, kneels down, and, and pray. Wala man ginarecord kung anong prayer, basta gaduko man lang siya. Sa banta ko, nakita gito sa Lord. Amen? Naga, I, I believe he was praying and he was reciting some verse. It is more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs> Siguro mo ito yan ang pangamuyo. Upo niya pa si nanay niya nga daan. You remember that? Doon sa boxing, when they are, they are in between the rounds, pag, pag sambuwa, sabong sina, pag uros siya. Even with the glove, he was making a sign of the cross. Para sa akon, bisan nga katolik siya, sa itong panahon, di pa siya born again, he was really being prayer aware. He was really saying, Lord, puligi ko di, basi yung patay ko di. You understand what I'm saying? To be prayer, to become prayer aware means that you you know and you need to be in connection with God. Now, however, sa si Manny Pacquiao na born again, balan ko ang rason kung ano na born again siya. Balan ko ang rason. Kaya may sample sa Bible. I think the Lord saw the devotion in the heart of Manny Pacquiao to ask help from God. I think God saw the hunger of this man. Kaya istinabasahan ko sa Acts chapter 10, may isa na katawo nga macho kayo, ngalan niya si Cornelius. Cornelius was a soldier. He's a boss. He has plenty of soldiers under him and servants under him. And si Cornelius, ginambat sa Bible, Acts chapter 10, siling dira nga, he was a devout man. He was pagan, but he was a devout man. Together with his family, they always pray. He was very prayerful. Hindi niya pakilala si Jesus. But he was a devout man, very prayerful. Sa isang Bible, he fears God. That's the key. He, was, he has the fear of the Lord in his heart. And not only that, ginapractice niya kung anong nabalaan niya. The limited thing he knows about being godly. He was generous. He was giving to people who has need. Dao mo man si Pacquiao, di ba? Manami si Pacquiao pang uh, haga, hatag yung mga manggad niya sa ibang nga mga kaluluoy. He was generous and sila isang balaan niya kasulatan, he loves or he fears God. So one day, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. Siguro, hindi ni part sa inyo theology because, you know, some people believe that if you are a sinner, God does not appear to you. Or if you are a sinner, God will not listen to your prayer. But an angel was sent to appear to Cornelius saying, Cornelius, your almsgiving and your prayers have become a memorial to God. Balansang Lord, balakon prayer aware ka. Bisa hindi ka pa born again, balansang Lord. How, how hungry you are to connect with God and to call upon, upon God and to ask help from God. Balaan sang Lord na. Siling sang Lord sa iya, okay. Siling sa Cornelius, 
you you find this man find simon find him he will tell you how to be saved i like that hindi ka pa saved pero ba appear sa mga angel of the lord kaghambalan ka find this man he will tell you how to be saved amen what do you think about pakyaw at a proper time. Now, nakita ko ang unang adlaw nga si Pacquiao nagkandak sang seminar dito sa Jensan, sa kumbinto. Nag-attend ang ila arsobispo. Kaya nagtudlo siya sa ila about the value of the Word of God. Kag sa ulihi, pagkatapos niya sang tudlo, nagkato ang uh, obispo, nag- naghambal siya sa linya. Kung wala pa kay Manny Pacquiao, if not for money, Pacquiao, I, I, I don't have an understanding of the value of the Word of God. Siling sa obispo. Kalinsad to, si Manny Pacquiao nag-grow sa iyang uh, Christian life. Dito lang to nagbigin. Nakita ko nga, Paurilio, so niya si Pacquiao, manami ni siguro kung naborn again. Isa mo? Kag naborn again, Gid. Palakpakan nato nato, Lord. Amen. Sang una siguro, palapangamuyo ka mo, nakita na na sang Lord. Hungry ka mo sa Lord. The son, uh, gina, ginasay-say ko lang ang posible nga natabos sa inyo. The son, naborn again ka mo. Hallelujah. Amen. The son, sa naborn again ka mo, giintudloan ka mo kung paano magali ka buhay nga Christian. Pero sa ulihi, ang pagkadibutado nyo sa pagpangamuyo, sa una, gindula nyo. Posi- posible ayan nga matabo na. How devoted were you before in calling upon God which you do not know, ikumpara subong to call upon God which you already know. Yung napakilala sa inyo ni Jesus ang Lord ngayon ni. Eh. Pero kung failure kita mag-pray always, daw na, may pasang unang, hindi pa ta born again, sang sasubong na born again kita. Ang muna gusto ko nga, i-challenge ka mo, praying and the habit of praying should be should intensify in our life now that we know God. Hallelujah! Palakpakan nato ng aton ng Lord. <laughs> si James, naghambal si James, James 4, 2, 3, you do not have because you do not ask. Christians, the key is asking, coming to God and asking. Be prayer aware. Uh, let me tell you how, how I live my daily life in uh, relation to prayer. When I wake up, my mind begins to uh, signal that I need to stop. I need to go to the presence of the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. When you wake up, you should be doing the same. After reading the scriptures, ang, ang heart ko, marispan ako sa Lord by praying. When, when, <laughs> kamo, kamo mo mani. When, when you eat, do you pray? So, when I eat, I pray, I, I may talk to people, but in my heart, in my mind, I know that God deserves my thanksgiving because of the blessings He has given me. When driving, oh, much aware ako, ya, aware ako nga, gadrive ako, I can be snatched anytime by whatever event on the road. I have to pray. While walking, I, have, I can pray. When I am with friends, kung kaysa talking with friends, bala ka na, may gidya mag-istorya sa friends. Sino nakabatyag sina? Labi na gid kung may gina-istoryahan man ka mong iban nga friends. Pariho man ka mong saman, gaya-istorya ka sa friends, you talk about other friends, and then you begin to talk about how bad they are or what they have done to you. Kana, may gidya mag-istorya. Pero kabalo ka mo kung prayer aware ka mo, you can say, we have mentioned the name of our friend, can we bow down and pray? Si Lord B. When I face a difficulty, and I have plenty, when or before I go to sleep, I have to be prayer aware. I think about my connection with the Lord. When I feel thankful, I will pray. When I am hurt and threatened, I will pray. When I am persecuted or feeling tormented or opposed or depressed, I need to pray. It is very important as a first step to be prayer aware. It's like a signal when you have a need, 
prayer aware ka. Hallelujah. Ting, 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 ting. Call on the name of the Lord. Amen? What, whatever, whatever is the situation in your life. Ginatawag ko na nga prayer triggers. May triggers. Gidato nga pray. Nga sa pag-pray. Let's go to uh, number two. A second lesson I learned from this parable is to be prayer anxious. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. When I use the word anxious, ang naghambal ang Bible, do not be anxious for anything, siling sang Philippians, but in everything, by prayer and supplication or petitions, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything, by prayer. When I, I use the word prayer anxious, because I feel bad if I cannot pray. I worry if I cannot pray. prayer anxious kita. We are not worrying about the problem. We are worrying that we failed to pray with God about our problem. Kung kaysa ginauna pa nato ng mga tauhanon nga, 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 nga bulig. Kung may problem kita, we go to people, we go to the bank, we go to the government, we go to offices, we go to our uncle, we go to our auntie, we go to our muscle man, we go to Superman, we go to Batman, except the Lord. So I my, my, my lesson here is, if I cannot pray, I am in trouble. I am, and I should be, Prayer anxious, hallelujah. Siling ni Jesus to the effect that men should always pray. Gin, gin tanaw ko ni sa, sa Bible uh, dictionary ang word nga ginagamit ni Jesus translated to always pray. This word from ang original nga word niya ni uh, is understood to be meaning to treat prayer as urgent. To pray because of something is urgent. It has to be treated as an emergency. The status of your need should be looked upon as an emergency. It is urgent. When you are afraid, it is urgent. When you are harmed and you are sad, it is urgent. When you are being threatened, it is urgent. When you are depressed, it is urgent. It is a state of emergency. Now, nabalaan ko man, bala, sa experience ko, kung hindi, kung na pagtataro ng problema kong uh, urgent, kag emergency, wala ko ka pray. I don't feel the need to pray. Kung sarangan malang sang tao, hindi na true need, hindi na tutuod niya kinanglanon. Kung sarangan malang sang bulsa ko, hindi na tutuod niya kinanglanon. I, do you understand? But there are things that I see ya hindi kasarang ang tao sina. Ang just lang ang makasarang sina palapakan nato ng aton Lord. I have prayer anxiety when I know there is a need and it is urgent and I cannot pray. It should be urgent. Hallelujah. Amen. Tanawa bala ninyo na yung gamit ni Jesus. Jesus is a master storyteller. Sige nga sa story niya. There was a widow. Now listen, mag-widow ka na yan, sad to nga panahon, you are already in a state of emergency. The life of a widow is always a state of emergency. Wala siya defense, wala siya protection, wala siya provision. He is a widow. First time kanto kami sa, sa Cambodia, Buddhist country. And the Buddhist community, basta may widow, hindi na nila pagbuligan niya direkta sa ila ginakalbo nila ang widow. Sino di mga widow ng uh, mga babae? Kung sa Cambodia ka star kag Buddhist ka, they clip your hair. And tagaan ka nila uniform. And you walk on the street. And when people see you, mahambal na sila nga arang widow, buligan na siya. So you are reduced to begging. You will be walking around begging. Jesus at the time that he told this story, has the same culture in Israel. When you are a widow, you are urgent. You are in a state of emergency. This widow is being oppressed and threatened by her adversary. 
damo siya kontra. Ang bot nga ang na widow na siya, may kakontra pa sa iya. Siguro hindi pag-ihatag iya mga claims. Siguro pensyon niya hindi pag-ihatag sa iya. Or whatever. He, she is under a state of emergency. Ang only hope lang niya, listen to this, is to go to this church. Now, nami si Jesus magbutang sang karakter sa story niya. There's a widow that is so weak and defenseless. And here's the judge. The description of the judge is this. He does not fear God. Wala singa influence sa iya nga halin sa langit. He does not fear God. Number two, he has no respect for people. Wala siya ka care sa mga tao iya. Amunang description sa iya nga, nga, nga karakter. Judge siya. Sino sa inyo nakatsulod na sa mga courtroom? You know how they, they honor judge? Gahulat ka, busy na, no? may trial ka. Pag uh, time na nga magsulod ang judge, ga uniform na siya, ga toga. Dason sila ang uh, clerk, all rise. So bangon kami tanan, tindog ka, all rise. Pag uh, hearing sa trial nga na, the, the judge is always addressed, your honor, your honor. Your Honor, kung hindi mo magsundo ng judge sa iya courtroom, you are in trouble. In other words, sa istorya ni Jesus, ginpresent niya ang judge nga so powerful, pero hindi mo siya ma-convince ang imong need. He does not care. Amo na ang istorya sa uh, nga ginpresent diri. This widow would come, knock at the door of the judge, siguro sa balay, sa balay niya, Mr. Judge, please help me. Day and night. So, amo na yung problema. Siguro ka problema man ka mo. How do you convince God in heaven to help you? Kaya mo ng nature sang prayer. How do you convince the creator of the entire universe who owns everything to help you? To look down and, 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 and examine how, what you need and to be, to be loving enough to help you. How do you convince Him? How do you convince a judge in the story Nga buligan ka. May tatlo ka pa agi. There are three ways you can you can squeeze help from a judge like that. Number one, you bribe him. Pero kung widow ka, ano ang kapital mo, i-bribe mo sa iya? You have no money. So you cannot do that. So, X na. Number two, option mo, intimidate mo siya. Sila mo, judge, if you will not help me, palukpan ko sa sang granada nang imo balay you intimidate him however this judge is so powerful and the woman is defenseless ano ang mahimo niya to intimidate make the judge afraid wala ang ikatatlo are you listening ang ikatatlo that he will slowly wear down the judge by non-stop sa filipino language kuliton mo siya Adlaw kagabi, inay-hinay-hinay mga kuliton siya. Gani siling sang Bible, day and night, the woman would be there and ask the judge to help her. Please give me justice, judge. Judge, I have this enemy and adversary. Help me, judge. Siling sang story, the judge was just listening and he said to himself, Bisan wala ako, nadlok sa Diyos, even if I don't fear God, and I don't have any fear for people or I don't care about people, I must help this woman lest he wear me down. In a word nga wear me down, the sa ato nga Bible, is a uh, gangsters, gangster word kuno na siya. It is a gangster language or slang. Nga sila nga, kung hindi ko siya pagsapakon, black ayan nga ginakusin ito mo na bala. Kung hindi ko siya pagsapakon, Amat-amat, yung nga nga kusiyon, ako nga kusiyon, hasta sa nga magdugugid. Siya hindi ko na pagtugutan. Yung buligan ko lang ni siya. Yung natakan ako sa iya. Amo na yung natabo sa istorya. Sa gamay pa ko, when I was uh, maybe in grade 3, somebody uh, told me a story nga kung akon kuno inos-nos, nos-noson na ining akon, bala nga, ini bala nang akon, nga knuckles, when I continue to rub this for maybe a whole day, gold will appear in my hand. 
Sige ko tanawon ko gid be kon may gold. Ginusnos ko ni nga ginusnos sa sa mga tunga na sa adlaw. Wala na panit. Kag na infection. Now let me tell you something. That is the illustration of that word. Slow friction, slow uh, bruise uh, and slowly slowly until you create a hole. That is the meaning of that word from the Greek, the word Jesus used. Lest this woman create a hole inside of me or hole in my eye. Ang isa ganika translation, lest he give she gives me a black eye. <laughs> so simple. This woman was prayer anxious nga sila niya akon gina sige sige hon gidya I will bother this judge until he gives up. Amen. That's what ang yung word. Uh, Siling ni Jesus, that men should always pray and not faint. Not faint. Let's go to number three. Amo na yung prayer nga, nga hindi ka mag-faint. You must be also prayer annoying. Gusto ko yung annoying kita sa pagpangamuyo. Na matakan, natakan gani ni Jesus. Okay. In ang word ni Jesus nga, men ought always to pray and not faint. The dictionary, Bible dictionary, tells us that the word Jesus used is a military word. Military word. The word not faint means uh, that, that you will not give up or quit because you have become fearful or you have become coward. That men should not quit, should not be coward. They should continue and not give up. Hallelujah. Na, na, nakita nyo ang nature sang prayer nga annoying suno sa kay Jesus nang hindi ka maguntat. Hindi ka hadlukan. Don't be afraid. Uh, one time, Jesus, Jesus taught this, uh, this uh, teaching sa iyong mga disciples. Sila niya, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will knock you down. No, <laughs> knock and the door will be open to you. But the literal translation of that verse is this. It, it should say, Ask and keep on asking and you will receive. Seek and keep on seeking and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking and the door shall be opened unto you. You annoy heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Abo na ang ginahambal ni Jesus. Siling ganit sa istorya ya. I have to help this, this woman lest he weary me down. The woman was very earnest. One request, second request, wala gapo yung sabat. Third request, wala yung sabat. Padayon lang siya. Ya. This is becoming prayer annoying in his practice of prayer. Wow. Jesus gave us his point sa istorya niya. Siling diri sa verse 7. Verse 7, And will not God bring about justice? Look at this. And will not God bring about justice for His chosen ones? Are you chosen? He will give justice for His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. So this is not just the story portrayed by a widow asking justice from the judge. This is picturing you and me. Hallelujah. Amen. Trying to annoy God. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. Now, listen. Listen. God has no problem helping you. But we have problem <laughs> convincing Him that we need an answer. Because if we are not in, in practice, 
we don't even appear annoying. It is as if we doubt whether God is willing to help us. We have a very small idea of God as if God is unwilling to help. We easily quit. We drop the line. I like the wording of our, our song. Sulat ko kayo ng wording sa ngatun nga song. While we were singing, uh, part of the song says, uh, I touch heaven. Ang ganyan wording na? I touch the sky when my knees... Okay. I touch the sky when my knees hit the ground. You know what picture that is? When you fall and you humble yourself and you reach out your hand and, and say to God, Help me, Lord! Hallelujah! You touch the sky when your knees hit the ground. We will annoy God in order to show to Him that, Lord, we need an answer from you. Amen. Siling ni Lord, na wala man siya gana nga mag-successful. Sino sa inyo ga-pray nga mag-successful ka mo? Raise your hands. Pero dali ka mo mag-quit, mag-pray. Sino sa inyo may gana nga sabto ni Lord nga gapangamuyo ka? Lord, give me the right man. I'm addressing this to these girls here. Give me the right man. Lord, send Mr. Right. Pero kung ka pangamuyo ka lang bala, isa lang ka time, kag sa isa lang ka gabi, hindi mo makonvince si Lord nga, you need the right man. Dapat karon buwas, at Lord, Lord, si mo, Lord, gakaon ka, Lord, give me the right man. Gasakay ka sa sarakyan, give me the right man. Gasakay ka sa tricycle, give me the right man. Hallelujah! Sila ni Lord, takan ako si mo. Ari ay, padalaan ta ka sa evangelist. Padalaan ta ka, pastor. Ari mo ay. I don't know about you, but this is exactly what Jesus is trying to say. God will respond to us nga nagapanawag sa iyo as we cry to Him day and night. Day and night. I like this. Amen. Let's pray like this. Shall not God avenge His own elect who cried out day and night to Him though He bears long with them? Amen. Hebrews 11.6 Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder. Listen, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He knows. Amen. Let's go to number four. Fourth lesson I learned from this parable is to become prayer amazed. Amazing. God is amazing. Sa sininga story, Jesus is revealing the Lord God who answers prayer. That He said, this God will give justice to you. He, this is an amazing God. Compared to the judge in the story, judge does not fear God. God is God. Hallelujah. The judge does not care about people. He does not care about people. God cares about people. He is your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. He is different. The, the judge does not care for people. In fact, ginbuligan niyang babayi, he answered, he gave justice to the woman, not because he loves the woman, but because he was inconvenienced. He was so annoyed. So the annoyance was the language of that justice and of that answer. But our God, according to the revelation of Jesus, is different. He really loves to give you justice. He really loves to answer your prayer. He is a loving God. He is true to all His promise. He is loving. He is passionate, compassionate, slow to anger. Hallelujah! He loved you so much, He gave His only begotten Son. So reversed compared to the unjust judge. Our God is just. Wala ko yan nadlo kung sino pang magkakuntra sa akin. Nagdamo na nagkuntra sa akin, pero ay ko nadlo kaya. Nga man, I know that God is just. There is no 
There is no injustice in Him. Hallelujah. There is no injustice in Him. He is always fair. He is always loving. He is always generous. He is always faithful. Amazing, Gani. The most inspiring part of my lesson sa, sa Sininga story is the fact that God is unlike the judge. And this God is loving. And He answers prayer. Hallelujah! Here's the argument of Jesus. Let me give you the argument of Jesus. Like this. It goes like this. Listen. If this widow can get answer and justice from an unjust judge, how much more successful you can be to get an answer from a loving father? If the widow defenseless, no lawyer can get answer from an ungodly, unjust judge, how much more successful you can be to get the right answer from your Father in heaven. Palakpakan natin natin, Lord. This judge in the story lacks compassion, is repeatedly approached by a poor widow with no credit or favor at all, and yet eventually, he released answer to the widow. Our God is even opposite of that judge. He is a good God. Jesus revealed Him to us. Let me say to you, uh, in closing, some of the things that uh, maybe you, you, did, you did not see. Siling ni Jesus, we are His chosen ones. We are His elect. In other words, God has already chosen you. He is committed to you. He is not against you. He is for you. Number two, Siling din ni Jesus, the, the, the prayer is in the form of crying to God day and night. I like that because I like to cry to God. I have sufficient tears to cry to God. I have humble knees to kneel down to God day and night. According to Jesus, that's the form of asking He is expecting from us. And then He According to this story, that, that this God, this Lord, will give justice. Amen. He will answer us. And that He will not delay. You understand that word delay? He will not delay. In fact, He will help you speedily. He used the word speedily. He will give you justice speedily. Of course, ang speedily, kung kaysa, mas madasi kita sang sa Diyos, kay dagas ako kita. We are so impatient with God, but God is always on time. In the right time, in the right season, in the right time, He will answer you. Hallelujah! Do not criticize God. Do not complain to God that He is delaying. No, Jesus said, He will give you answer speedily. Palakpakan nato ng atun nga Lord. So, are you ready? When we were young Christians, gintudlan kami sang kanta nga God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening. So keep your hearts in tune. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon whisper a prayer in the evening so keep your hearts in tune God answers prayer in the morning God answers prayer at noon God answers prayer the evening so keep your hearts in tune let us all stand when we started here tonight 
Some of you came with stockpile of prayer requests. <coughs> you stuck it up because it was needed. You needed them. But you stopped. You gave up. You stopped praying. So my challenge tonight is for you to get out of your place and come here in front and let's pray through. Hallelujah. And say to God, Lord, I will annoy you tonight and I will present to you my state of emergency. Some of you are in a state of emergency. Your health is failing. You're sick. You need healing. Please come to the front. Some of you are in a state of emergency. Your marriage, your family, your relationship is not really alive. It's dead. It's dying or it's dead. But there is a chance that it will be resurrected by the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to step out where you are and come here to the front for prayer. Some of you have dreams that you want to do this, you want to do that, and, and you just quit because there seems to be no response. Let's, let's come to the Lord and let's pray. Amen? Let's step out where you are. You know, I pray because God answers prayer. It's useless to pray when I know, if I know that God does not answer prayer. But because I know that God answers prayer, that's the reason why I pray. I call on the Lord. I talk to God. I surrender my state of emergency to Him. Hallelujah. Come on. Maybe it's not about you, it's about someone you love. Maybe your auntie or your uncle or maybe your, your children, maybe your children is in need of God. Why not come here and begin to call on the name of the Lord. Raise your hands and begin to tell Him, Lord, this is the case. This is what, what I need, Lord. I have never received any encouragement or help in this area of my life. I need you, Lord. Give me justice. Give me an answer, Lord. Hallelujah. And there's some more. Aye, we have a good God who answers prayer. Are there some more? Let's start praying for people here in front. Amandra Salikod, if, if, if possible, find someone, uh, hold hands together, and pray. This is, this is worship time. This is prayer time. Hallelujah. Don't waste the time of God. God has given you in this place. God will meet your needs or meet someone's need. Let's let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Meet this emergency. Hallelujah, Jesus. I pray for this. Women, Lord, these ladies, Lord, you love them. You want to take care of them, Lord. They need not worry about their future. I pray, God, that you will respond to their calls. Answer them, Lord. Answer the cry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't quit. You started calling upon the Lord. Call on Him. Seek and keep on seeking. Ask and keep on asking. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Lord, I pray for this baby. I pray for this baby. I pray God for everyone here in the name of Jesus. Manlako ng mga grabe, ng mga problema, ginadulog na sa iyo, Lord. Ikaw ang Diyos, nga mga pasaligan. Pasaligan ka naman, Lord. Karan nga gabi, Lord, pasaligan ka naman, Lord. Pasaligan ka naman, Lord. I pray, Lord, you bless this girl, Lord. Bless her. Bless her, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Protect her in the name of Jesus. And in the 
Answers prayer. Raise your hands. Hallelujah. Let's give thanks to Him. Kaya mo, Lord, kargahon. Apin ka sa amon, Lord. Wala ka kakutra sa amon. Ikaw, Lord, ang mag-champion sa amon kausa. Ikaw, Lord, ang mag-sabat sa amon pangamuyo, Ginoo. Hindi kami pariho sa mga orphans. We have Father in heaven. We are not orphans. We have a Father who cares about us, who cares for us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you so much, Father in heaven. Tagay kami, Lord, chance to practice daily, to weep daily, to cry out day and night, O oh Lord. Hindi kami mag-quit. Hindi kami matalaw. Hindi, we are not cowards. We don't want to run away from the game. We want to pray until answer comes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us in our faith, O oh God. Help your people to believe. There is answer for every need. 
Salamat kisay mo, Jesus. Hindi kami magluya. Hindi kami magpa-discourage. Gina-rebuke naman si Satanas nga nagapa-talaw sa amon, nagapa-untat sa amon. We want to worship God, the God of the heavens and the earth. He who never fails. He who provides our need. He who said that we will not lack anything. Salamat kisay mo, Lord. Ini ka bulan, sunod ka bulan, ng mga inatlaw, Lord. I pray, pour out an abundant blessing upon your people, O oh Lord. Pour out a blessing upon the young and the old. And we thank you for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. 